Hey everybody, it's Terry. I'm up here in Grand Marais, Michigan. We come up here usually every year for vacation, but of course life gets in the way, but we're back. This is year 2020. We normally stay at this hotel. Back in the day it was Walker's Lodge. That was in the 90s, then it became North Shore, then after that it was Rome Beach, and now it's over. So we're going to show you what's left of our favorite vacation spot. I'm going to kind of tag team this video with Marsha. We'll show you some of the scenes and we'll tell you some stories of this place. You just said that we never got to sit out on this deck here, Marsh? No, we never got to sit out on the deck. We always went inside and had the Sunday brunch that they served. Yeah, and then this was the main entrance. And I believe that door is operational, right? Well, I think we, I can... Think we can open it. Yeah, but... yeah. See what we can get away with. Yeah, that's as far as we can go, I think. Yeah, so this was the old entryway. It actually smells good in here. Yeah. All so right. good. <laughs> Let's see the rest of the place. All right. So here's the side of the building. You see we've got some missing siding due to the high winds up here. But Marsh has spotted something that's kind of interesting. What well, do you see, Marsh? This used to be the gift shop and there's still shirts hanging inside. Really? Where are they at? Yeah. Right in through there. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you can see them. There they are. Those are nice shirts too. I wouldn't mind one. Well, let's find a way in and get them. So I believe this green building was for the people that ran the kitchen and cleaned and all that, Marsh. Wasn't this kind of the utilities yeah, area? Part of the part of the help. Yeah. They used to have a trailer back on the side and there was a lot of helpers that would stay there. Yep. There's always piles of garbage. I see that hasn't changed. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Alright, so here is the main building. In this area here used to be a swimming pool. They decommissioned that many years ago. It's like the windows busted here. Yeah, that's something new. Yeah. Don't know how that happened. Maybe a giant bird hit it, right? Who knows? Yeah. Anyway, there's no way I can show you the pool. Probably isn't the prettiest thing to see anyway. Chesy was poking his head in there. What'd you find, Chesy? So in here would be the entrance and there was all kinds of hotel rooms and in here if I can get in give them a look and you can barely see in there but straight ahead used to be a community bathroom so one was full in our room I'd sneak over here good times I'm back in through here. Yeah, we've got screens falling out this has only been empty for about what two years uh, two or three. Yeah. So it's starting to feel the torture of the weather. So around this end, i got another story for you. So the first year that we were up here, we uh, brought some stuff up, kind of didn't know what to expect. But I ended up cooking hot dogs on a grill right out there from our room. The kids just absolutely loved it. I had a ball. Yeah, and they used to do a bunch of... So behind the hotel is this giant sand dunes and on the other side of that is Lake Superior. In this house, we kind of watched it go up from the ground up. It used to be like just pink insulation, remember? We always call it the pink house. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> yeah. there's some other rooms over here that they actually were remodeling and they were really great. And uh, we stayed there a couple times, yeah? We stayed in that one over yeah. there, Yeah, we'll go check it out and peek in the windows. Wow, this is some heavy-duty siding, Terry. It just blew right off. Yeah, place is falling apart. Paint's peeling. Just think what this would be like in another two or three years. I got a feeling they're going to level it. Be a shame, but... Yeah, that's the way it goes.
see what's going on in here. Look at there. Wow. So I believe this was one of the ones that they were remodeling. Yeah, I saw it. <sighs> Crazy. Yep. Killed the project before it was done. All right, that covers the main hotel. Now we're gonna take you over to the cabins. We had a lot of fun over there, a lot of adventures. You guys will get a kick out of this. All right, so the cabins were actually across the street. And you can see they're very much dated as compared to the main building. But they had a lot more features like kitchenettes and you had a little area outside where you could gather people. So that's where we gravitated to. We had a lot of fun there. But unfortunately, they're in really bad shape. So let's go over there. All right, so these are kind of like, I guess you could say kitchenette type cabins. There's a little living area, a couple bedrooms, and a little tiny kitchen, and a very tiny shower. So the one we stayed in first that we discovered was Unit 7. And I think we stayed there two or three times until we discovered Unit 8. And how we discovered that was, there was actually some nuns living there, right, for the week. And they went out to do something, they left their cabin open. So we kind of peeked and said, man, this one's a really nice one as compared to seven. So while they were gone, I had to use the bathroom, somebody was in seven, so I went and ate, used their bathroom while they were gone. So I, I, I admit it, okay? <laughs> Strike me down. <laughs> All right, so this place is suffering from water damage. If you take a look, at the roof, you'll see there's a lot of moss up there, a lot of damage to the shingles, and unfortunately, that damage is inside the building. That's probably one of the main reasons they condemn this place. This door happens to be open, so let's take a little peek. Make sure the dog doesn't run in here. Anyway, kind of get a view of what's going on. The floor, no chasing. If you look at the floor, you can see the floor is all like wavy. So I believe it's completely rotted out. And if you look right there, you can see a two by four plank. So I would not even begin to walk in here, right? You may end up in basement or a crawl space. Yeah, it's pitiful. All right, now we've got these individual cabins. We actually never stayed at these in the beginning. I don't know why, because I think they have a lot more room. But we didn't stay in this one, so I can't tell you much about it. I don't believe we ever stayed in this one. No, these were always booked every time we wanted to come and stay. Yeah. So we were never able to stay in these. Yeah, but I think we ended up staying in unit four. I don't think we were ever in three either. No, these were the bigger cabins. They had uh, bigger kitchens, bigger bedrooms. Everything was just bigger in these. Yeah. So the last time we were here, which was two years ago, we stayed here at Unit 4. And to tell you the truth, it looks about as good now as it did then. Huh? You see in there? A little bit. Okay. This is uh, Grand Marais Bay. It's a lot calmer than the lake part. So the kids used to come over here and play a lot. They had this little break wall. This used to be a beach. Now it's all filled in with the water. Yeah. And, and the other night, we were out here walking with him and he didn't know that the beach was gone, so he jumped off. And luckily he didn't get hurt, because there's a lot of rocks down there. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the main house that the owners occupied. That was the walkers. So here, just like the rest of the place, very bad repair. Maybe you can see inside, if the sun will allow us. So you can see they're in process of remodeling this too. There's some drywall mud in there. Things were underway. Something went wrong. And that was the end of the show. Thank you.
Oh yeah. Yep. The dogs used to really like this field. The but dogs did, but what the story that I remember was when we brought my mom up one year and it was her birthday, we met some guys that were photographers and they flew a helicopter and they offered my mother a ride on the helicopter along the lake shores of Superior. It was the best birthday present my mother had ever gotten. And it was free. And it was free. We <laughs> offered to pay. We, we did. Yeah. But they came and partied with us for a little while and then I asked them if it was something they'd like to do. Yeah. Offered to pay for it and they said no, we'd be happy to do it. Yeah, cool. It was neat. Yep, yeah, good memory. Marcia. What? You know, we don't have AC at home. You're right. I think all's wrong with this thing is maybe a loose wire. We can put it in the back of the car, take it home. What do you think? Sure, hey. why not? <laughs> well, there you have it, an end to an era. We came up here since like 1994, and I used to come up here when I was a kid. So it's a real bummer to see, but I'll tell you what, if one of you guys out there have like five million dollars that you don't know what to do with, why don't you come up and fix this place because I'd like to come back. We'd help. Yeah, sure. Thank you.